Okay, here they are. He served our country with the Army's 3rd Infantry and 1st Armored Divisions in Iraq and is now the founder and director of Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Paul Rykoff is back with us. Paul, how you doing? Good, Paul. Good to be with you. Thank you. He is the senior correspondent for the Washington Post who wrote that great book, Imperial Life in the Emerald City, Rajiv Chandra Sakharan. How you doing? Good to be with you, Paul. And our returning champion, he was a national White House national security official for three presidents whose latest book, Your Government Failed You, is now out in paperback. Richard Clark. <laughs> and remember, submit your questions to HBO.com, and maybe we'll talk about them later on overtime. Okay, so we put together this panel because we knew this was going to be the anniversary of 9-11. My first question to you is, it is a political question, which is... Um, on 9-11, everybody in this country, including the Democrats, rallied around the president who was a Republican. Do you think if there was another attack today, the Republicans would rally around Barack Obama? Well, my friend Dick Cheney has already answered that question. And Cheney has already said repeatedly that there's going to be another terrorist attack and it's going to be Obama's fault because he's no longer torturing people. You see, if only you have people hidden away somewhere that you torture, then the terrorists won't attack you. <laughs> uh, it's good to have people who are out of office. <laughs> they really speak their mind. You agree with that? It's going to be a lot tougher for Obama to, to respond, I think. You know, with 9-11, with Bush had an easy target in Afghanistan. Now, you know, Al-Qaeda is a fundamentally different organization. It's metastasized around the world. Uh, what do you bomb? Uh, how, do you, how do you go, go and, and show American might in response to this? He, he will have a much tougher situation there and, and one that will be, be harder to sort of rally the, the world community around. Uh, but I, I'm just asking about, you know, Glenn Beck has this 912 project yeah, yeah. where he's saying the good old days. Uh, they, they better <laughs> rally together. I mean, that's the bottom line is our country has been divided since 9-11, really. And, and there's no more time for partisanship and, and for bickering, especially in a time of war. When I was in the military, there were no Republicans, Democrats. We were all united in defending our country. And if we do, God forbid, get hit again, the Republicans, Democrats, communists, socialists, everybody else and their mother need to get together and figure out how to defend this country and take care of each other. That's what I saw eight years ago today. Well, now you there. And, and Glenn Beck can go to Afghanistan, too. Yeah, please. I'm fine with that. <laughs> will, will, there, uh, will there be another attack, do you think? There could be, Bill. Look, it, it, it would be harder, despite all of the screw-ups. Things are a little better. Certainly, air travel is better. You know, we have to take our shoes off and we complain, but security is better on airplanes. But taking our shoes off doesn't really help that, does it? That's a secret. Don't say that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And the that. shampoo bullshit. I mean, no. I, it doesn't. But, but the point is... Can't we travel with liquids? I mean, it's not... I mean... <laughs> yes. Wouldn't it send a signal to the bad guys? Oh, look, they're not fighting the last war. They're smart now. Well, we have the technology so that we could detect that sort of thing if we just spend the money and put it in place. We've wasted billions of dollars on Homeland Security doing really stupid things in the last eight years. We could have gone after, if we didn't just give everybody their sh fair share, you know, some county right. in Ohio, because right. the terrorists are going to come after them, got a new fire truck. Right. Really, that's what happened. If we had it taken pork. total pork, if we had given the money to places that need it, you know, the New York subway. We had a story the other day. The New York subway still hasn't put cameras in. And still smells like piss. <laughs> That's it. But Bill, if we want to send a message to the terrorists eight years later, how about fixing Ground Zero? I mean, it's eight years later, and there's oh. still a hole at Ground Zero. Every politician in this country beat on their chest and said, "How oh, we're going to fight back, or we're going to show them how resilient we are." And I live in Manhattan. I live in New York City. You know, we were incredibly affected, just like everyone else. But there's still a hole there, and it's a testament to the bureaucratic inefficiency, the infighting, and the greed that's dominated our politics. Right. I mean. Uh, the, uh...